Pasha Shlach always makes me think about spies for the obvious reason. Here Moses, Moshe sends 12 spies to the land of Israel. Uh, 10 come back with a negative report. Yeshua and Kalev come with a positive report. Uh, in the Haftorah, uh, we have uh, Yeshua himself sending two other spies to the city of Yericho, uh, Jericho, to see what the mood was, to check things out, what the morale was like, and so on and so forth, successful in their mission with a narrow escape from the internal security forces in Jericho. And it makes me think about all the Israeli spies who are unsung heroes that most of us will never hear of, and most of them we've never heard of. There are some that we have heard of. I had the great privilege of meeting Peter Malkin, who came to a number of Gateway seminars. Peter Malkin was a Mossad agent. He was involved in the tracking and abduction of Adolf Eichmann uh, and uh, the bringing of him to trial in Israel, where he was eventually convicted and hanged. Uh, Peter Malkin, uh, unsung hero, uh, I met him when he was already retired, working primarily uh, as an artist, uh, no longer as a spy, but a, an impressive, impressive man, a moral individual, and someone who put his life on the line for the Jewish people to bring evil Adolf Eichmann to trial. Uh, some people less well-known, Wolfgang Lotz, who was an assimilated German Jew, who came to Israel and volunteered for the Mossad. He went to Egypt before the 67 war, and in Egypt he established a horse riding club. His horse riding club was legendary uh, in Mossad accounting department because it was the most expensive uh, Mossad operation ever. Uh, expensive horses, lots of champagne. However, his horse riding club in Cairo uh, was attended and frequented by virtually every member of the Egyptian general staff. Uh, so he would sit and schmooze with them, champagne, ride on their Arab stallions, etc., etc., and would have information about exactly when tea breaks were taken, where the planes were parked. Every single detail of the Egyptian Air Force and Army was known by Wolfgang Lotz. He was eventually captured by the Egyptians, eventually traded back to Israel, I believe, for the entire Egyptian Third Army captured by Ariel Sharon during the 73 war. And of course, very famously, Eli Cohen, who uh, was in Damascus, unfortunately captured and hanged, but transmitted huge amounts of very valuable intelligence that saved lives, probably helped win the war, uh, transmitted back to Israel from Damascus, where he was in the upper echelons of the Syrian government, in line to become Minister of Defense, tours of the Golan Heights, uh, Syrian defenses, the whole works, Eli Cohen, very, very famous uh, spy. Of course, there are the uh, Mossad spies that we don't know about who uh, killed the uh, terrorists responsible for the Munich massacre, uh, ones who uh, hunted down Nazis uh, in Europe and in other places in the world, uh, whoever it was that put the USB drive into the Iranian computers Stuxnet and caused their centrifuges to speed up and destroy uh, self-destruct, etc. The Mossad agents in Iran who uh, stole documents uh, proving uh, Iran's, uh, uh, Iran's uh, I guess, dishonesty regarding the nuclear agreements and so on and so forth. Many, many of them. I heard recently uh, from Rav Asher Weiss that he estimates that probably 25% of Mossad agents are Shomrei Shabbos, are Sabbath observant Jews. Quite amazing to the extent that the Mossad has actually appointed a rabbi whose name I don't know and very few people know, who is a, uh, a decorated soldier in the Israeli army, also a Torah scholar who has got a very high security clearance, who will answer questions for Mossad agents. So it could be Mossad Lamahadrin as well. In any case, uh, the first spies of the Jewish people 3,200 years ago, not incredibly successful except for two of them. The next set of spies, 40 years later, Yeshua and Ka Yeshua sends them, and we probably had spies throughout our history, but uh, we still have spies today. Hopefully, uh, we will not need them in the times of the Mashiach, uh, but in the meantime, we do need them, and we should have in mind when we pray that we pray not only for our soldiers and security forces who we know about, but to pray for those who we don't know about as well. This is Mordechai Becher with the Gateways, Parashat